Hello everyone, welcome to our next lesson. Today we're going to be looking at finding the derivative of ln of x. Now if we remember from our functions, ln of x looks something like this. That's what the ln of x function looks like. Um, f of x equals ln x. Um, and if we were trying to find the slope of this function, well we could see up here the slope is approaching zero. And as we get closer to x is equal to zero, the function seems to be approaching infinity. So if we're trying to think of what kind of function could that be? Well, the function that describes the derivative or the slope is actually one over x, which is equal to, or looks like, um, so this is zero. So as x gets bigger, it approaches zero. And as x gets closer to zero, it approaches infinity. And this, if you remember, looks like or is the function f of x is equal to 1 over x, as x is greater than and equal to zero. Okay, so that's just some background information on the function of ln of x and its derivative. How do we find the derivative of ln of x? Well, it's just 1 over x, but what happens if you have a function inside? So suppose you have a function like f of x inside of ln of x. Um, well, to find the derivative of that, we just do 1 over the function, your f of x part, and then times it by the derivative of that function. So let's just look at a couple examples. So suppose you have f of x equals ln 2x. Well, the derivative of that is f prime of x is equal to 1 over 2x times the derivative, which is 2, which is equal to 2 over 2x, which is equal to 1 over x. Huh. Seems to be the exact same with ln x. And we'll look at that more in class. If you have f of x equals ln x cubed plus 5x, the derivative of that is, so on the bottom, you, find, you just write uh, the function x cubed plus 5x. And then on the top, we're going to multiply it by the derivative of that. So it becomes 3x squared plus 5. And one more example. Uh, suppo suppose you have f of x equals ln of sine x. So sine x will go on the bottom. And on the top is the derivative of sine x, which is cosine x. Hope that helps. Have a good day.